All right, hey everybody, back with another video here for you. Remember, I post a video every single day, often two, um, especially when you, it's off season for me and I get the time, sometimes even three videos a day. So content coming for you all the time. Today, we're gonna be talking about the two biggest misses and problems for the Ranger, okay? The Ford Ranger, love this truck. The new 2024 Sting is an amazing truck. It's every one of its trim levels are fantastic. Plus you have the incredible Raptor. Everything about this, you got three engine choices from the 2.3, uh, which has got incredible sales deals and it's been proven you got the 27 coming right out of the 150 fantastic truck and great engine in that and then you got the raptor with the 3.0 i mean this thing's got everything that we could be looking for and capability rear lockers and many features awesome truck what are the two biggest problems with this truck why does it why is it such a problem right now and that is these factors here so we're going to dive into all of them we got a few minutes to talk about but let's look at the sales on this thing first too so we look at the ford ranger we got uh first quarter of last year it sold twenty four thousand of the original the, the previous generation a new generation comes out beginning of this year we're only at fifteen thousand. get it it's a new model that came out so it's down 37 percent same with how the uh the toyota tacoma went which is down 40 because it just came out we get that we understand it um, but why doesn't Ford make more of these? We're going to show you examples of that. Okay. They did the same thing with the Ford Maverick down here too. Look at last year, how slow, how low they were because there were none of them available. Ford wouldn't make them. Okay. Now they're up 81.4% this year to 77,000 because they're actually starting to make them. Now for the first time since the Maverick's been out, you can go to a Ford dealer and see two or three or four Mavericks on a lot for the whole entire life of the Maverick truck. You could not see that in history. Some people were waiting two years to get their custom orders on this thing problem is Ford doesn't make them okay they don't make vehicles anymore and uh you know and it's a shame too because they make good ones like i said here's a review that i did you can see it here you can link it find it on my video stuff i just did a, a few months ago on the new uh the uh four-wheel drive uh ford ranger love this truck there's a lot of great features to it but the problem is they don't make them they don't make them at all. Okay, and then you got the amazing Raptor here, fantastic truck, same problem. They don't make them. What happens when you don't make a truck? Okay, when you're not doing sales and you're not making enough of them for people to be there to buy them, nobody's going to buy them, but also becomes a problem of the fact that part availability is not there. If you can't even keep up with production to make the allotted vehicles that you're supposed to make, how are we supposed to think that there's going to be parts available for anything that goes wrong? Especially on something like this Raptor where you've got so much tech in every part of this thing. Technical suspension, live valve shocks, you got everything is sensor controlled and Baja adjustable and modes that are changeable and uh, live exhaust. And all these things are going on here that are all computer controlled, yet... No parts are ever available. You can't even make enough vehicles to, to even come close to meeting demand. You can't, you, you can't get this right. You lead the way in recalls with more recalls than any other company it has in history. Right now, Ford has more recalls than, uh, and Ford does than every other American auto manufacturer included, including Toyota and them. But more than they have more recalls this year than all others combined. Okay, that's not just, they're not just leading the way. They have more than all others combined. It's pretty crazy. With the amount of recalls that are happening here and the lack of part availability and the fact that Ford can't get their house in order becomes a real problem. It becomes a problem not only for us as trustworthy of being able to buy the vehicle and have it fixed if something goes wrong, it becomes a problem of us being able to buy them and buy them right. Okay, we expect to have deals. We expect manufacturers to make some products for us to put these things out there and have them available. Well, how is that looking? Um, well, I just made a video a couple of days ago, um, right here. Well, a couple days since you see this, but no more Ford Ranger parts. I made it yesterday, 14 hours ago, but um, you can see no, they had to close the order banks on a Ranger Raptor because they don't have any parts available. You can't get parts for them. They can't even get parts to build them. How are you as a customer going to get parts to repair them when things go wrong? And then if they do say they get 10 parts in, do you think they're going to give one of those parts to you, somebody who already bought and paid for a vehicle? Or are you going to think they're going to put them into 10 ones that are sitting there on the production line ready to go out that they can sell? So you're stuck left hanging on the back burner on this, which is a definite bummer. So let's look at the numbers. How are they looking out there comparatively? What do we got out there? Let's put our money where our mouth is. Let's put, let, let's look. 
Here we go. We take a look at Auto Trader 2024 Ranger Vehicles four wheel drive is the only thing I picked. I did not change any trims. So whether you want an XLT, Lariat, Raptor, doesn't matter. We put them all in here. We got every single 2024 Ranger available that is four wheel drive, and we got 6,000 of them, 6,400. 6,400 across the entire nation of all trim levels. That is horrible. Hey, that is horrible. They just not making enough of these things to even come close to being comfortable. They're they're nowhere near it. This has fallen way way short. And you can see the deals are not that they, they don't come in that well because of that. How is it doing compared to competition? Well, if we look at the Colorado, okay, the Colorado same thing. All we did was select Colorados, no trim change, all wheel drive. So whether you want a Z, uh, Z71, ZR2, a Trail Boss, left all of the trim levels available here and we have 9,500 of these. And then if we kick in its twin, the Canyon, we got same exact results here, but we got, you know, same search results. We got 43. So we got basically 14,000, 14,000 of the GM twins versus 6,000 of the Rangers. How's everything else doing? Well, we look over here at the Tacoma. We got 15,000 Tacomas. 15,000 Tacomas, four-wheel drive models, any trim level. Okay, this is insane that we got, and you can see how Tacoma, which usually is the one that's always behind schedule and behind on stuff. Toyota usually is very sloppy with inventory, but Toyota is actually kind of leading the way, but they're right there on par. You got 15,000 of these and you got 14,000 of the Canyon Colorado combo. Okay. That gives buyers choices. That also gives buyers pricing and options and value and ways to do things. Even the Toyota in here too. Look at this. If we hit this, we go by lowest. Look at some of the deals that are out here on these things. Okay. Uh, let's see if they're going to show us any with MSRPs. Um, come on. What are they doing here? They're not showing us. I have never seen this before on here. Why are they why are they doing this? They're just showing us MSRP on this. This is upsetting me. I'm not sure what's going on. We're going to bounce a few pages ahead. See if this is going to change that crap. I don't know what they're doing here. Here we go. But even here, we're seeing 37 out of 30. You know, you're seeing discounts on Toyotas that are pretty good. Um, we're seeing that right off the bat. You know, a couple thousand dollars off, $2,000 off. What if we go back one page and bounce back, see if we can get rid of whatever the crap was going on on the front side um, on this. Yeah, see right here, look at $2,000 off. So we're seeing deals on these Tacomas, which you never see. Okay, and they got, but they got 15, 15,000 of them up there. Actually, you can see those numbers have changed since I put this together this morning. They sold a few, but there's still 15,000 of these out there. Um, what about Gladiators? Okay, we look at a Gladiator. 14,000 Gladiators that are four-wheel drive available. Again, compared to 6,000 Rangers means they're not making enough of them, and that's a big problem. How about if we compare the King here? Okay, let's go here. Look at this. Okay, uh, this is the Raptor. The Ford Ranger Raptor, the top dog one, the one that gets all the publicity and the hype and the one everybody wants. There's only 500 of them in the entire country. What are you doing, Ford? What are you thinking? We, and not only like that, like I said, we had to uh, close the order banks uh, for them because they can't get parts for them. They can't make them enough. But this is their top dog trim, the King, the King truck here, the one that you would think every owner would be taking care of tremendously. And yet... They can't even make enough trucks to put them out there. How are they going to make parts for these things, especially on one of the most technically advanced trucks Ford actually makes? With a brand new engine in it, a brand new platform in it, everything there, and for technically a first year new truck, and we're going to be left hanging with parts on there. That doesn't sit comfortable with me. They only got 500. Well, it's a super truck. Okay, it's a special edition. Well, how about the ZR2, which is a special edition? That comes in at 1,844 of them. Kick in the GM AT4X twin, you got another 1,000. So you got 3,000 ZR2 AT4X uh, combos compared to 500 Raptor, Raptor Rangers. Problem is with Ford, they're not making enough. Their house is a mess. Their management is a mess. Their quality control is a mess. Their recalls are a mess. Their warranty is a mess. All these things are a mess. They need to get this stuff in order, especially when it comes to the mid-sized trucks. Both the Maverick and the Ranger suffer tremendously, and it is their biggest problem. If Ford would get their head out of the rear end, 
make these things right and make enough of them and put some parts on the supply tables uh, so they're there for us, these would be much bigger sell sellers. And the prices would come down and be much more realistic than the crap we're seeing here from them. Customers don't want to deal with this. And we live in a time where people are not going to pay over MSRP. They've been there before and done that through COVID and they've seen what happens. And then they're all upside down in their loan. And if you spend an extra $10,000 here, you spend twenty grand extra, look at this, $20,000 thousand dollars over msrp you spend twenty thousand dollars over msrp on this truck and then say in six months ford bumps up production and they spit out another uh, another two thousand of these things and get them out there in the market your value then you're going to start seeing a sixty thousand dollar truck being sold brand new for 55 now or 54 or 53 and you've paid 80 you're as up you're 40 grand 30 grand upside down Okay, you're thirty thousand dollars upside down in your loan, um, and people know that, and they're not stupid, and they're not playing these games that, that Ford's trying to do. And Ford purposely holds back inventory on purpose to try and keep these prices high. We've done videos on that before. Ford needs to fix these problems. These are the hit, biggest problems and the two biggest hits with the Ranger and the Maverick. Get your crap in order, Ford, and stop treating us this way. My advice: any comments you got, put them down below. Thanks for watching.